Hello everybody, welcome to another video tutorial. We're playing Hammer again, Sergeant Hammer. Uh, recently redone, so we want to show off the new, the new and improved Hammer with the, of course, the Master skin here. She looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Alright, so, what happened? Uh, spider Mines. The Bullhead Mines, instead of giving all three the knockback, it's now only the middle of the three. So one out of three. A big nerf. Uh, results to a lot of players no longer taking them. You really don't see the mines as much anymore at all. And so what's going to happen is more of an emphasis on Giant Killer and Hover Siege, depending on the team comps. But we're going to take a level 1, we're going to look at their comp. Zebo Mouth, as ETC just charges in bloodly. I'm not trying to fight yet. Um, the Vikings, you want to look to see if they have a lot of Roots and Stuns. There's a Brightwing Polymorph and the Roots. So we're going to take a Resistant here, probably, instead of the extra damage. The other one is Advanced Artillery. If there weren't a lot of roots, I definitely would be taking that instead. Uh, but this is great because we're going to go into that Harbor Siege mode later on. Um, if I was say against another hammer, I would most likely just take the uh, increased damage at long range. If they come in range, we're going to go on them. Make sure we're attacking him instead. Now you can see there's going to be a, minute, a little bit of a root here, but not much. We're in a great spot. They're really going to have to rotate somebody down to, to push me out of here. He had to tap well. You can see I'm pretty much at full. Here comes the bright wing. Okay, I'm come back. We're gonna lose this though. Alright. So what do we get? About a third of the health? Just gonna go back real quick to fully heal. Alright. Now they have a lot of sustain with double healer. I don't know why he's going in right there. Uh, you should just wait for me. Okay, at Maelstrom, it increases your basic attack range by 20%. So he took all of that free damage. Uh, it didn't really do anything, especially with a Brightwing just sitting there healing. You don't want to go in like that. There's no need to. Um, Brightwing just ported. You can see her leave. Now, they don't have a Stitches hook, so I'm pretty much safe back here. Remember, you do 50% splash, so... Kind of pick off the weekend minions. I'm going to go in for the tower. There might be some people waiting. It's what I do. Okay, we'll get this back. And I can actually siege up. This isn't great because I don't have vision. But those mines will give me vision. And I can actually clear the wave just fine from there. And we'll go back. You do have to be careful sieging. You don't really have to siege in lane. You can get away with it a lot of times to clear the wave. Uh, it's more about knowing when to break the rule. The rule is don't siege in lane usually, unless you're in a great spot. And you just have to know when when to use that siege mode. Like right now, I mean, what are they going to do? A Thrall could come running in, I guess. But, you know, I have that resistance on level 1. I have the range. There's not no threat here. Like a Stitch's Hook is a big threat. I'm not even worried. Like, I have a Brightwing of my own. Like... I don't know. I guess I was supposed to panic there when she polymorphed me, but I didn't even move. Like, I could have. I was just being lazy. And we'll hit this. We'll tap first aid. We're right back in. We just have to give it a second. We do get Dragon out of it, too. And now I'm probably going to split push while the Dragonite pushes mid. I'm so used to the advanced artillery that I often think about how far away I need to be to do that extra damage, but at this point, I think I can actually... No. I think I clicked on the Viking there. Alright, so. It's 
I just want to clear that before it does too much damage. Mm, wish I had a lighter. Rock and, roll. and usually if I have thrusters up, I'm not worried about being in siege mode because these will instantly get you out of siege mode. This is really useful. And Napalm Strike, still a way to go. It just does so much damage. BFG is fun, can be useful in really long games, but... No, I don't think so, Brightwing. Not today. <laughs> Alright, so I use the thrusters pretty early there because the polymorph, when you're polymorphed, you of course cannot use thrusters. You can't use your abilities and things. Okay, oh, alright. I did not hear that hunt going down. Kill. Peel for the Illidan. And then we can actually siege up. And you want to like try and get the edge of it on the building, the napalm, so that it does damage to the structure. Uh, as well as any minions or heroes that are walking past it. So like right like here, you know, it'll hit the building with the edge. And what you can actually do, oh, Nazebo, um, ETC interrupted the Nazebo. I was actually going to come in. And I think, I don't think we can, no, we can't get to him. Now, I'm in a bit of a trouble because I use my thrusters aggressively there. But Brightwing was paying attention, ported in. Okay. I'm just going to escort these guys. We have to be super careful. I do have thrusters back up. Wind's going down. All right, so now you have to think: Do you want the barricade or do you want giant killer? Uh, you definitely want to look at their comp. Their dive isn't that strong. I mean, they have the thrall. That's about it. So we're gonna go with giant killer for the extra DPS. He <laughs> wanted me to siege. I wasn't just just wasn't gonna waste. It would have been good if I could have sieged there because of the. Splash damage. They have like three people down here? Absolutely. Alright, so I could pop first aid. I'm gonna go ahead and back. But yeah, if I could have siege that would have been awesome because then it would have been done splash damage to everybody. Um and the everybody and their mother. Alright. Looks like Illidan's gonna get a kill on the Zebo. We're going to run down here. They're going to get back top, but we should be able to get bottom. Using thrusters to get in. It's the polymorph. Try and get on him. Thrusters and aid. And if you're close enough, you saw the animation of the napalm there. If I had been a little bit closer, it wouldn't have gone up in the air. It would have been a lot faster, actually. Like that one that I just cast. And it reduces the cast time substantially, so you really want to try that. I'm going to come here and help Arthas do these. Alright, so... Wait, I'm gonna drop a napalm. Pop the first aid early, tanking a couple tower shots. Now, ideally, I just want to split push while the dragon gets mid. I have thrusters up, so it's okay to siege. Uh, maybe not. Argh. He's concussive blast a little too early there. If I'd held onto it a little longer, I could have knocked down the zombie wall or killed an Azebo with it. But Brightwing did a, a great job there. You can see the, the zombie wall's down. I don't have thrusters though, so I have to be a little careful. Okay. Interesting choice. Two seconds on thrusters. Oh my god, it is. I had a run. Delay. 
Now we're gonna take hover siege here. Uh, if I had more health, I definitely would have stuck around. But okay, so hover siege, you can move in siege mode at 50% move speed. Pretty awesome. So we can do. You can see that resistance just came in handy. I could have been definitely more aggressive. I was backing up a little bit. All right, so with th thruster forward. Kill that. Kill the Viking. Now we can be really aggressive with this. That's so cool that the Brightwing, the Pixie Dust, actually helps you while you're in Siege Mode. Alright. I'm not gonna try and get a keep. Just because their whole team's up, we're a little bit spread out. I'm gonna push mid back. This so called hero. Might be able to get a kill on Thrall. You're a little bit slower in siege mode, so you really—I could have probably moved up first before casting it. All right. You want to try and get as much splash as possible. Ready to drop the hammer. Like the Vikings are a great target for it. Deliver it. I can make it out just fine. I am a little low, man. We'll tap well. All right. Delivering payload. I probably actually should even place those on this. So I'm gonna try and delay for these guys to get up. They do have to defend bottom. He's able to get that, so we can just play it safe. Be a blast. We get Adrian too, okay. Work on your form. Delighted to, sir. Napalm is airborne. Ha, it's I think we get this guy. I'm staying out of siege mode just to keep my mobility up. That was a nice knockback from the DC there. All right. Try and get in position for Thrall. There we go. Picked him off. So you can use your thrusters aggressively. You can use it defensively. I wish I had a lighter. Um. You have to be very careful about them though, because they're kind of a like get out of jail free card combined with your concussive blast. They go really well together. Uh, the concussive blast knocks down a wall, like a zombie wall. The thrusters give you the speed to get out, and it can also the concussive blast can knock enemies back in a way from you, so that you have time to um, to use your thrusters to get past body blocks and things like that. Gonna walk out, not using thrusters there. I didn't really need to take a little bit of damage from the zombies. I mean the uh, toads. Move it or lose it. 
He's about to finish with that camp. All right. It's boom time. Fire from the sky. Delivering payload. That's the ship. Really no need to siege here. You're improving. It's boom time. Hey, permanent. Spread the love. This will be a blast. Now I'm going to siege because you do get the bonus damage to minions and structures. Alright. So here we would take Nexus Frenzy, usually, uh, as long as you can land auto attacks. If they have a lot of people with imposing presence, for example, you wouldn't take that. You take the extra upgrade to your heroic. Uh, but they don't have, I think, a single imposing presence on their team. So. I'm gonna put that there to zone people. All right, so we'll take the Nexus Frenzy. Increased range and attack speed. And it looks like we're getting all the keeps. Uh, but yeah, if you, because the thing is, like against imposing presence, it slows your attack speed by 50. percent So, uh, you know, with an auto, it's, if you go for the auto attack upgrade, you're just gonna be wasting it. And ETC with the, the mosh pits, man. He's probably kill that. All right. All right. Yeah, we can just focus core at this point if we want. We actually get some more kills on the bike. Nah, he had his, his jump up. All right, so. Should be game. You can see I did a ton of damage. Uh, Hammer is a beast, especially when they leave you untouched. Uh, like I said, there was no dive potential for their team. What's Thrall gonna do? Run in by himself, and then you know you're gonna destroy him. If they had like an Illidan with a tank, you know, like or a Stitches hook, Tyrael, you know, things that can really dive the team or the catch with the Kerrigan and Stitches. That's when you have to be super careful. Uh, but we took that resistance there on level one. That works against the Malfruits and the. I don't think it works against Polymorph because it knocks you out of Siege mode, but it's pretty cool um, and really, really useful to to have that. Um, this one resistant. It, oh, it's seventy five percent, not fifty percent. So it's yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, but also, like I said, if you if you're like in a mirror matchup or if you're not worried about their disabling effects, like it's really this is really good against like a mouth, for example, or the thrall roots, you know. Uh, so if they didn't have a lot of that combo potential, you know, you could definitely go for advanced artillery, which increases that damage at long range by 10%. And this is really useful to have, especially if you need a little bit extra DPS. Um, it's a great choice. Uh, the other one on 13 is Barricade. If they had a lot of dive, team, a dive, like a Kerrigan, like I was talking about, an Illidan, the Barricade does wonders against them because you don't have... It's better than Knockback Mines now because of the, the, the nerf to these where it's a one-third of the bonus. Um, it only affects a single mine, not all three. And then you, so you take Barricade if they're diving you hard. If you can get away without taking any damage, First Strike is, is pretty cool too. And then 16, uh, Hovering Siege is generally what I go with. I mean, in the right comp, I guess you could go for the Executioner. Graduating range is nice against uh, another Hammer. Or if you really want to play super safe and and you have but then the thing is you can't move you can't move with it you won't be able to get both of these together um and so you know it, i don't know i just feel like this is too limiting because you don't have the mobility so i generally almost always take cover siege unless there's another hammer and i want that extra range for the the tvt the tank versus tank battles and then like i said generally nexus frenzy unless there's a number of imposing presences and then you'll go with uh like you know the, the advanced lava strike because it doesn't the imposing presence doesn't affect these all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you soon i'll see you on the nexus